Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Yes, we have another Zoom show today, and we have a lovely young lady out in Alabama, the Crimson Tide, they call it. Uh, she's an actress, she's a model, her name is Kelly Lane, and we got some clips of her work, both modeling and acting with films, uh, with a couple of guests I had on recently, also on Zoom in that part of the country. But before we get to her, I'm going to read these incredible underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So, I want to thank Auto Country, King of the Used Car in Abington, number one on the dealer raiders for Massachusetts for 2021. Been with me since the, since the beginning. Fine customer service. We got them. We got the Fadiologist Barbershop in Brockton, Fadiologist 101 Barbershop in Brockton. We got New England Floorscapes in Middleborough. We got Madigan Land Surveying in Middleborough. We got Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton. One number for towing, one number for projects. I was looking for new scrap metal, wheels, anything to do with transportation that my pal Lynchy can handle there. We got Auto Town Auto Glass installed in Abington. We got John's Greenhouses and Flora Shop in Brockton. We got Eli's Auto Repair in Taunton. We got a new uh, Mexican restaurant, Los Jefe's Comida make in Taunton. They make the best tacos, burritos, bowls, and uh, best fried chicken sandwich. And they were in Taunton. We got A1's Tire and Auto Center in Brockton. I was looking for new service techs and uh, writers. We got Takeouts Pizza and Roast Beef in Northeastern. We got CNJ Auto Body Auto Glass Towing in Stoughton. We got Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We got Eastern Fitness right in the village shops in Northeastern. We got Doggy Boutique, all breed professional grooming, run by my great next door neighbor, Debbie Siddell in Brockton. We got Dogs and Cats. We got Chapin Sheds in Whitman. We got RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton, covering floors for 50 years. We got Joe's Diner in Taunton. We got Crazy Axes Rec Center in Hanover. We got Maggie's Cuts in Kingston. We got the Casual Cup in Braintree, New Yogurt uh, facility, very, very nice little um, yogurt stop. In Braintree, we got Dave's Automotive in Hanson on Route 58. We got Salon Giovanni in Marshfield. We got Genuine's Inspection in Middleborough. We got the Cornerstone Barber Shop in Pembroke. We got Carver Jewelers with Ronald Darren Lively, Delano Goldsmith in Carver. We got the Gunrunner LLC in Middleborough, the Second Amendment uh, Freedom Store. And we got Fiesta Chara Family Mexican Restaurant in Carver. We got DNS Auto Works in Abington. We got uh, Ocean Street Auto Repair Service in Marshfield. And we got the law offices of Cahalane and Stefani PC in Brockton, specializing in workman's comp and personal injury law. And I want to thank all you guys very much. And now officially, let me introduce uh, Ms. Kelly Lane from Alabama. Originally, she'd done some time in the, in, the, what, in the far west in California. We're going to talk all about that and we're going to look at some of her stuff. So Kelly, thank you for uh, taking the time out of your busy day to be on my show. I know you did a lot of traveling today. From Absolutely. What you yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm excited. And I'm excited too. All right. Well, you're a beautiful young lady, um, and I've, I saw some of the film clips that you had, and you're, you're not, you know, you're not, a, you're not ashamed, afraid or ashamed to shake things up a little bit, and that's kind of cool. You, you know, you, you get that, you get that uh, Possum Jane type of, 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 of frivolity when you do a film, and I love that. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay, I just made that up, and I thought it sounded yeah. pretty cool. It okay. works. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, tell me about you. You, you know, as a little, you know, as a little kid, you showed me pictures of yourself in middle school. You, you said you're from Alabama. You got the drawl. You got the accent. You love. I guess you like horses. I saw you know pictures of you riding them, and you like bikes too. I saw you pictures of riding you. You're riding your bike as well. But tell me about what you were like as a little girl. Where you grew. Where you grew up. Where you migrated to and from. And then you know and how it got you where you do, what you where you're at now and what you did to get you where you're at now. You know, as a child, and we'll cover all that. And then if I have any questions, we'll, we'll okay. We'll further further advance ahead to the current day. So go ahead. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. But um, yeah, actually, okay, actually, um, as a kid, well, uh, I would say school age, I definitely, definitely was extremely shy. I was the kid that would about to black out thinking about speaking in front of the class. Really? So, wow. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And so I was super shy. Um, and so when I got out of high school, I really, you know, college was just kind of the thing to do, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I did get an art degree. Uh, I enjoyed. Oh, hold on a second. Let's get back up. Now, are you talented art wise? Do you, do you paint, draw, sculpt? The whole thing. My okay. favorite, uh, my, I have a BA in art studio with a focus in painting, uh, but I loved building. So I love working with power tools and building things. Oh, One of the, What's that? Architecture. Yes. Architecture, right? Yes, sure. Wow. Huh. Um, but one of my uh, assignments was to, we had to deconstruct a chair and put it back together um, like a bridge and it had to hold my teacher. So when my teacher sat on it or stood on it, if it broke, then you got an F. But if it would hold him, then if you, if we you would hurt. pass. 
but yeah, it was to learn how to distribute weight evenly and all that kind of stuff and how to construct things. And um, I've never forgotten that. I've always enjoyed uh, building things and working with my hands. So. Well, that's fascinating. Was that in college that you had this professor? Yes. What, and when did you go to yep. college for this? Um, I went to UAB. It's a uh, University of Alabama, Birmingham. It's a okay. known for its medical school, but they have a great art uh, uh um, department as well. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, art and medicine are very similar. I mean, you can't really be a good brain surgeon unless you, unless you're delicate with your hands, and you can't really that's, be a great artist unless you are either. That's true. I mean, you said it. I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, um, so why were you in LA? You met, you said as a child you were in LA. What was that about? Yes. So um, my parents are divorced, so my mom got remarried, yep. and my stepdad's job would take us all over. We actually lived in New Orleans. We lived in Atlanta. We lived in uh, Southern California in Redondo Beach. Okay. And so um, that was definitely an experience for me. And I loved it. I think that kind of was a segue into why I love adventure and to travel these days. And I like seeing new things and new places. I don't like the same old, same old, boring, everyday thing. So. All, right, I got, all right. I got a question right up now. At some point, now you told me just a few minutes ago that you were a shy child, but not, but you also like adventure. Now, was there any event in your life, you know, be it the migrating, all the doing all that, that, that changed you from being shy to being more outgoing and, and you know, and forward? Um, actually, I think I was more outgoing before all of that. And I okay. think going through all of the changes, it kind of just like made me withdraw a little bit. Oh, okay. And yeah, actually, when I got out of college, I was looking, uh, I started modeling. So I started okay. modeling when I was 24. Sweet. Um, it doesn't look like you don't get much past that now. Well, thank you. Um, but then I started looking for acting classes in Birmingham. And at the time, there weren't a ton. So I actually came across an improv group. And it was so fascinating because when I emailed this guy, when he emailed me back, I could just, his personality like came through the email. Come to find out, uh, he was with Second City uh, in Chicago. Oh, that's, they're the best. They're caught in the most. Yes. And uh, he has around. a. I'm sorry. Most comedic theater group in the country. Well, to some, yes. some, would, some would argue yep. that. Mm -hmm. okay. His name is David Grissom. And uh, so he had moved back to Alabama to uh, start an improv group and really, you know, grow this thing. And so I was one of his first graduating classes. And so um, I learned, I, I really, from that class, I was able to get out of my shell. I was learned to, I learned to be able to talk and listen and listen to the crowd, you okay. know, and the crowd's response, that kind of stuff. So I really attribute, um, you know, going into a class like that. And then after that, just really making myself uh, do uh, things that were out of my comfort zone. I went to, uh, there's a place in Birmingham called Red Mountain Theater Group. Okay. And so I went there to audition and it's a singing group, you know, that kind of thing. Well, I'm not a singer. I make a joyful noise. Okay. Um, but I decided to sing one of the uh, hardest songs, a cappella. Yep. I got up in front of everybody, in front of the judging panel and all that kind of stuff, you know. And needless to say, I did not get the role. But I that was a huge accomplishment for okay, me. What was, what was the song you sang? Um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Oh, that was that, I can hear you singing that. Yes. In fact, well, I think it'd be a great Dorothy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but the director was singing it as I was walking off stage, you know, but the, the whole place was filled with people standing in line to audition. And like I said, to go from, you know, just thinking about blacking out, speaking in front of people, it just, I had to, I had to be the one to like push myself to get out of my comfort zone. Cause I was the one that was. No, you were the else, right? Say again. Not you than who else, obviously. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I had to I had to do it. So I, mean, I have listen, I have sort of a blunt question to ask. When you were a child, yeah. you were, were you ever diagnosed with anything neuro, you know, neurotic like autism or I'm only because the reason I'm asking is because sometimes kids that are withdrawn, they you know, sometimes they, you know, the parents are wondering what's going on, maybe and they take them to a therapist and the therapist says so and so has you know, he he, he's got I'm not down syndrome but you know maybe has some some kind of some kind of yeah. going well, on fortunately I, I was know. not diagnosed I wouldn't think so but I was just checking I, I think I I would say 
looking at, at from an adult perspective, looking back at me as a child, I would say I was hyperactive. Oh, hyperactive. Uh, okay. Yes. And so I got in trouble a lot. I got Ooh, paddlings cool. at school. I went to, you paddlings, know, were you, I, a, you were at a private, were you like a parochial school? Yep. I was Ooh. at a private school when I was younger. So I would get paddlings. Um, and actually the first year I moved out to Southern California, I actually got suspended uh, a day at school for fighting. Oh my um, God. Was it, yeah. a, was it a girl or a guy? Uh, it was another girl. It was okay. another girl. Yeah, but she was a whole lot taller than me and a whole lot bigger. So um, wow. I, I got my butt whooped that day. Go oh, girl. Wow. Yeah, but, but yeah, that, yeah, that's, well, you know, I, I, that's interesting. You know, I have a check it pass too. I guess that, I like that. You're not afraid to admit you check it passed and there's nothing wrong with that. Yep. So, you yep. Know, I mean, I mean, you went to parochial school, but you're not, you're not, you're not going to be a nun anytime soon, right? You're not no. for real. No, no. All right. I, I, do you have a family? Do you have a husband and children or anything? I do not have a husband or children. Nope. Um, I am dating. Um, I do have uh, some beautiful niece, nieces. I have a niece and nephew, uh, okay, biological, okay. but I have some step nieces and nephews as well. So, and actually my niece, she was born uh, with a percentage of Down syndrome. Okay. Um, and she has come so far because uh, she actually, when she was born, her intestines were not attached. She had a hole, she had holes in her heart. And today like she, a little bit more than Down syndrome. Wow. But she's there okay. was a lot, there was a lot okay, going yeah. on, but now she is doing gymnastics. She's learning, she's reading and writing and, uh, she's high functioning. Definitely. So That's great. Oh man, I'm so happy that she, that everything's turned out. All right. Yes. Um, absolutely. Okay. So I'm, you know, I gotta tell you, <laughs> Sometimes when I, I'm, when you were, when you were in parochial school, I know the, they make you wear the skirts and the stockings. That, that's a very attractive look for a girl. I don't, and, and they make, and, and, and. I didn't have to wear those. I didn't go to, I, I didn't I, go I would, to. I would want to wear those if I was a girl at parochial school. Just okay. to show it off. If I had it, I'd want to flaunt it. <laughs> and I figured, and I figured maybe that's how you got into modeling. Well, you tell me how you got into modeling. Actually, I got into modeling because I went to a school where, um, I didn't think I was that popular, you know, because yeah. I didn't grow up with everybody that went to school there, that kind of stuff. And so I think that's why I kind of got withdrawn. And so to really prove to myself that I was pretty or that I was beautiful, um, I got into modeling to, you know, kind of that was really to prove to myself. There you go. I, to, like you everything know. you've done is to prove the, is to get out of your shell. You said yeah. you, you had a little spark and every some you lit your own fire under you and now look at you. So. Yeah. And so you, you got to give yourself all the credit. It sounds like, yeah, and, and all, all, but not all the credit. The guy, that guy at the acting school, he obviously, you know, at the second city. What, what, oh, he pushed me uh, big time. Yeah. He did. And actually on the um, Facebook mention of this, he's on there and uh, makes a mention about the improv group. And so, uh, yeah, I'm glad that he saw that to see that, you know, he was really a pivotal. Uh, Are you talking about part. the plug you did for my show? Yes. Oh, yes. good. Then I, then mm -hmm. I can't wait for him to see it because I, yes. I've always wanted, I mean, I'd love to possibly get somebody from the Second City group on. I was about to say, he would be a great one. Um, I yeah, know yeah. that he started uh, Positively Funny Inc. in Birmingham, but COVID, having everything shut down for so yeah, long, yeah, yeah. I don't know that it survived. Um, but he, that doesn't take away any of his talent or, you know, anything like that. So he would be a, a great one to, to interview. Yeah, yeah definitely. Now, now you, do you consider yourself comical too when you act? Cause I mean, I know I saw the, some of the stuff that I saw, I look kind of, I mean, you, you look, you look like, you know, kind of attractively violent, but what about comical? Would you consider yourself comical too? Oh yes. I, okay. I think I am, but I think the comical comes from just being silly. Yeah, right. And sometimes I think some of like just blonde moments and that kind of stuff where I don't actually mean to be funny and it just comes out that way. So uh, if it works, it works. So I'll just go with it. Well, you like, do you, are you familiar with Sarah Silverman, the comedian? I'm not. No. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, good. I'm supposed well, she's my cousin and she's also an actor. She's been. Oh, awesome. Oh, you ever watched Seinfeld? Yes. Okay. You ever see that episode where Kramer was in bed with his girlfriend and she kept kicking him? Jimmy Legs. Uh, is she a blonde? No, she's dark. She's got dark hair like me. Uh, well, not as mine's a little grayer now. No, I have to go back and watch it. Google. I'm sure she was yeah. in the. Who was in the? You ever see the movie of School of Rock with uh, Jack Black in nineteen in two thousand three? It's been a while since I've seen it, but uh, yeah, I've seen bits and pieces. She was the girl in the apartment. All right. Well, guess what? We're about halfway through the show, and we're gonna we're gonna look at uh, some clips of Kelly's work, and then we'll be right back and talk to her again. 
So without further ado, keep watching. And folks, we'll be right back to Topic Time Talk Part 2. They're here. How does he do that? ready to do this? I was born ready. Sweet. Careful, Jill. It's not a toy. Yeah, let a real man handle this, little girl. Who are you calling little girl? Alright. Save it for the hunt. He's out there. Let's get packed up. When I think of shopping, I think of my favorite brands. The stores, the deals, the treats, and good times. When I think of shopping, I think of Grand River. Great, Kelly. Tell me what we just watched. Um, well, this clip was from uh, Voorhees, Night of the Beast. That and was, that, that was with Jason. Uh, Jay, yeah, uh, Jason Pitts. Pitts yep. yep. It's running Pitts. on YouTube right now, but that's kind of my uh, standout moment. And okay. it establishes my character. So um, that's, I, it wasn't written in the script. And so on the way to set that day, when we were about to film that scene, um, I was talking it over with another one of the producers. And I said, hey, you know, I feel like something else needs to be done, like to establish my character to show why I'm here with these three other men. Because it's like, you know, well, what does she do? She's just there, you know. And yeah, so you took one down pretty good. I like that. Yeah. And so he the guy that I'm working with, uh, Jacob Southwick, the he's a professional wrestler. And so, uh, like too in that clip. What's that? Yeah, with that knife, especially. Yeah. And so I worked with him. I was like, "Hey, you know, uh, we need to sell this." And obviously, you know, who else better to get to, you know, do this with and to show me some things? And so he re made it, made some recommendations, and it just it worked. So it did. so basically, you kind of had lived your way a little bit, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Now, have you ever written anything yourself? Like, you know, I, I mean, would, if you haven't, would you ever? I mean, in terms of I have not written anything, but actually I'm in the process of writing a book. Cool. And Tell yes. me about the book without giving too much away, if you would. Sure. Um, okay. Actually, it's about nerves and how nerves can kill your audition, how or it can kill your interview, okay. uh, whatever your... Uh, Listen, you're not killing this interview with them. No. <laughs> Yeah. So my okay. story, though, what I was just telling earlier uh, is part of, you know, telling the story of what this book is and how I really overcame a lot of those things. And I'm, I'm still a work in progress. I feel like that everybody is a work in progress. You're yep. either, you know, striving to get better, better or allowing yourself to get worse. So. Oh, so basically, all right, this is kind of like a self-help book. Pretty much. Based on your own experience. Yep. And that's great because you're telling, you're showing the world how, how, you know, people that are aspiring to better things can do it based on what you, you know, even if 
even if they started out kind of like backed in with their own internal shell, which I evidently you did, and how you can push it away. Absolutely. Do you have now? Did you in the book? Do you do you uh, do you like uh, highlight steps and how to do that? You know, like that. You know, like maybe to focus, take a take, close your eyes and focus on something, and and then and then think to yourself, if I can push that away in my mind, I can push anything away in real life. Um, I haven't really gotten to a point like that yet, but actually in my uh, everyday life, I have started meditating now. And yeah. so, that's yeah. My parents do that every day and they're in the high 80s. So that must be- That's, that's be awesome. Well, yeah. you know, and I, I heard somebody say one day that, you know, uh, athletes, they imagine themselves, you know, scoring the winning goal or, yeah. you know, whatever it is. So whatever it, that is, is going to work for anybody else in any profession. So if we can take that and apply it to our own profession, it, it has to work, you know? Speaking of that, are you a sports fan? You look like you look like you could have been a cheerleader or still could be. Actually, I was a tomboy. So I played soccer and softball. Okay. So, and so actually like I played on an, huh? Yeah, so you obviously like sports if you played sports. Yes. Oh, good. I played okay. basketball uh, at the private school. I played on an all boys team. <laughs> okay, wow. I'm sure they loved there it. Were no, there were no girls teams, you know, back then. Yeah, you, well, okay. Well, you, you could have created one, but you went, you went, you went a different route, but that's fine. True. Um, well, are you, do, you, do you follow any of the sport? You know, I mean, I don't know. You a big fan of the football team down there. I mean, I know that Clemson and Alabama and, and Crimson Tide. I actually know a guy whose daughter went to Clemson and when they won the two national championships. Oh, well, Clemson is in South Carolina, <laughs> I think. Oh, it's not in Alabama. I'm sorry. Nope. I mean, see, nope. I that's I okay. It's Auburn. I, I, I Auburn is born. the other. What's I that? was born in North Carolina, so it's amazing. But I was only there for I was two months old. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, right. in Alabama, it's Alabama, the Crimson Tide, and Auburn. Auburn, Auburn. right. That's your that's your state interstate rivalry. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. So and my Auburn. family are Auburn fans, but okay. um, when I'm not a diehard, you know, Auburn fan, so whenever Alabama is playing. I will root for Alabama because that's my state. So there you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I know. I wish they had a. I wish they had pro, a pro team down there. I mean, it was, they they do. Yeah, but um, those are just like semi pro teams. I'm talking about like in the major. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, know, I, I, I feel I bad for the states. This year. What? Oh, I feel bad for the states. I love sports. I mean, I we. I mean, I'm a Red Sox fan. All the all the Boston teams. We took us 86 years to break the curse, win the World Series in 2000. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. All that stuff. And I, you know, and I played a little, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not an athletic. I am athletic. I work out every day to try to keep in shape. That's awesome. Everything. Yeah. And you know, I'll be 63 in a couple of weeks. I feel pretty good. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So currently you're working on the Borges project. Anything else going on modeling, modeling wise or film wise is in addition? Yes. To that? Actually, I have another film coming out called Reunion from Hell. Okay. Um, and we don't have a release date. I got to go to hell. I couldn't think anyone I'd rather be with to have a reunion with than you, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Um, there are uh, a few people in that. Uh, there's Lisa Wilcox from the original Friday the 13th uh, okay. films, the Freddy Krueger and all that. Uh, yeah. Mark Patton and uh, Danny Hassel are okay. all in that film. And so um, I get to, I can't give it away. I was about okay, to give, don't it give it away. away. Just, just trying to get, you know, just trying to figure but, out what we're at this um, point. That was my first uh film where I really did like a gory dying scene and it was actually so much fun like I've never been like a, a big horror film when I was younger Freddy Krueger scared the crap out of me like I couldn't right. sleep with the lights off or anything like that because of Freddy Krueger okay wow so, well, then once that, again you pushed yourself out of your shell and you became a fan and now I I like to sleep in pitch black you know so yeah. I've been killed, and let me tell you something. I've done some acting. I've been killed off in a few films too. Yeah. It's a fun, isn't it? It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, I, I learned like the whole blood in the mouth and like. Yeah, yeah. I got that too. I, was, I played a gangster in, in 2015. We had a guy up from New Hampshire. He created a film and I, I got to be a gangster that was blown away by a fellow gangster. Oh, cool. And I had, I had yeah. a pretty, pretty femme fatale with me. She, both of these people had been guests on my show like two weeks before that. Before we yeah. said, we're going to have to do that. And a one day shoot in a New Hampshire motel. And they told us not to tell the don't tell, don't say anything to the staff about it because it, it might have, there might be like conflict of interest to be able to do a film. We're not supposed to do that. It's not in the contract of the uh, of the yeah. hotel, hotel policy. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I get it. I know how that is. But now I, I'm just totally with the show. All right. Have you ever done a TV interview before or anything like that? Or been getting any press? 
I have done uh, a few. I have not done a yeah, lot. I saw your commercials. They were great. We're going to look at them too. We're going to get them Thank in you. there. Yep. Yeah. But tell me about, so tell me about that. What did you get? TV interview or press or radio? Yes. Or whatever. Um, so I've done another podcast with uh, Tom Smith. Uh, okay. Bad, Bad for Your Health Entertainment, I think is the name of it. And um, gosh, there was another one. There have been some other ones that I've done group uh, okay. podcast with, with the rest of the cast from Voorhees, Night of the Beast. Okay. Just promoting the film, that kind of stuff. So I haven't done a ton, um, but a few. Yeah. Okay. And what about modeling? You still doing that? Um, I model whenever I can. I, I feel like that the commercials sometimes when I'm not necessarily uh, speaking is yeah. kind of what that is. So I just, I take what I've learned from modeling and acting and just, you know, incorporated it, incorporate all of it in there. Yep. Yeah. I love that Grand River thing. That was sweet. Thank you. Yes, yeah. I I love that. And have you ever done any? Have you now the modeling you do? Did, did that ever include catalogs for stores or anything like that? Or what? Did, what does it include basically? Um, that included. I know the pictures, but will you tell me where, where do they where do they come out? Yes. Um. So I want to say um all over the state of Alabama and the surrounding yeah, yeah. states. Okay. And I know there are three billboards in Birmingham that have my uh pictures from there. Uh, on them so yeah, every yeah. time I, I drive by and I see one I scream because I'm like ah you know like that's crazy what to thousand other people on the highway probably do too yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow so that's really, I mean on a billboard man that's sweet yeah okay. and I actually I called it because after after that was filmed I just kept saying in my mind I was like I just feel like I'm gonna end up on a billboard like some of that stuff is gonna end, end up on a milk cotton right no, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> no milk cool carton. Yeah. Um, have you ever done it? I know you don't. You say you don't sing. Have you ever been in a music video? Um, I have been in a Christian music vid video, but it was a part of the story, okay. the storyline of it. But I've never sang in anything. Or no, no, I, I don't mean sing. I mean I'm talking about like being in the background of a, of a video. Um, just the the the, um, the faith based one. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, that's cool. Okay, um, so you're so you're writing this book. How long? How far along are you with it? Would you say? Um, I'm not too far in. I would say I'm at the very. I'm still at the very beginning stages. Right. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to get like a ghostwriter or something to kind of put things in order and because organize it better. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It needs organization because I just want to be able to put everything out there. But it will definitely need that. Yeah. No, what about your what about your art? I mean, you, you got to you get that big degree in art. You're still doing sculpting, painting, drawing, any of that? Um, I don't do a lot. Uh, okay. There for a while after I graduated from college, I did not paint for probably ten years. Wow. And yeah, so okay, well, um, but other things going on. Yes, I had a lot of things going on. So I I paint when I can. Um, I I want to say what I love about the art is the process of it. So it's, it's really kind of, it's got to be fun. It's got to be uh, all consuming, like involved. And sometimes if I don't get finished with it, like right then, yeah, I, I kind of trail away from it and don't come back to it. So, okay. Well, all right. Well, it depends. It's got to be fun and you got to have, a, you got to make sure you got, you know, you got to, you got a clear field to do it on. In other words, you know, nothing else that's going to impede your time. Now, what right. about now? Now you 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 look very athletic. Do you work out regularly? You, you bike a lot. Do you horseback ride, just like in those pictures, a lot, or is that just? Yeah, actually, I try to work out every day. I get yeah. asked all the time if I'm a runner, uh, just yeah, yeah, because I'm cool. very lean and that kind of thing. So, but uh, if I don't make it to the gym, then I will at least go outside and walk. So it's what? it's still like 80 degrees at night. Uh, yeah, yeah. What kind walking. of beach? You know, now you're not in the you're in you're in you're in an in you're in you're in an inland you're in an inland state, so you're not on the ocean. But you must have some nice beaches with, around you, right? Or lakes or whatever. Um, yes, lots of nice lakes and stuff. But I just walk around my my neighborhood, and it's very safe. So yeah, I, I know, I but I mean, I mean, I could see. I mean, you do so you don't do so there aren't really any beaches around there, right? Like um, not in Birmingham. There right. is in South Alabama. There okay. are some of the nicest beaches. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I could see you on the beach. You know that you know maybe doing a little surf up or whatever or anything. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 
Have you so what? So aside from that, I mean, you do a lot. You do do a lot of biking, and you do. You you have like the farm with horses. Are those are those your horses that I saw? No, those are not my horses. And actually, uh, the horse in the photo is uh, one of my agents' horse. Oh. Okay. So yeah, so it was one of those because the reason I got into acting is because I want to do Christmas, uh, Christmas movies and westerns, and okay. so I needed a photo of me on a horse, you know, because a lot of times people, I guess, look at me and think, "Oh, she's girly girl. I can't, you know, she's not going to be able to do that." And I actually, um, I didn't tell you this, but I went to stunt school. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to be able to do my own stunts, and so yeah, to, to stab of, someone like you did in that clip, I can see why. I can see why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, that was probably one of the hardest uh, physically doing that every day for eight hours. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. By the, end of the, by the end of the week, I had a mild case of whiplash. Jeez. So I was, I mild. was on my huh. Yes, my, mild. yeah, yeah, okay. I was actually on my way back into town calling uh, the massage therapist and making an appointment for that and a chiropractor appointment as well. So. Well, yeah, that can happen. I mean, you're going to get, listen, every now and then, I have, I still have a little arthritis. Sometimes my joints flare up. All right, tell me real quick about your agent. And then we got, then we're on to five minutes and, we'll and then we'll wrap the show up. So go ahead. Who's your agent? Um, well, I have a couple of them. I okay. have uh, Misty Pyburn with Extra Talent Agency in Nashville. Okay. And um, I have Suzanne uh, Massingill with uh, Barefoot Models and Talent in Mobile, Alabama. Okay. And then uh, Tammy Smith International, and I believe she is out of Panama City Beach. Okay. You never, um, been, you never worked in New York or anything? Or, or, or you never, no. I haven't worked in New York, no, nope, okay. but I would love to put that on my list of places to work. So like I said, yeah. I want to work with like Hallmark and Lifetime and yeah, uh -huh. I know you'd be great on those in those in those. Yeah, channels. again, if you ever come to the Northeast, I'll obviously I'm, I'll be a tour guy. I'll be happy to awesome. show you. Yeah. All right. So now we're under five minutes, and I hope you had fun with me. I hope you covered as much. Absolutely. As well. Yes. Okay. This was so enjoyable. So what I, thank you. What I'd like you to do real quick is just look at your look at your computer and just give shouts out to a few people that are going to see the show. You can condense them, and then we'll wrap it up with my music the way we started it. Okay. Well, go ahead. Um. Uh. What? It, wait. My family. I guess I'm giving yeah, a shout sure. out. Is Why not your family? What's that? Why not your family? Why not my family? Yes. Um, my mom and my stepdad who are in Houston, Texas, and they got a new pup, Jackson, and my dad and stepmom in Birmingham. I have a brother and his wife and uh, Bentley and Braden who are in Auburn, Alabama. Okay. So, yep. And then my, obviously my film family, I can't forget them. They are amazing. So uh, we've, I've got a group of family from Louisa, Kentucky to Little Rock, Arkansas, actually the whole state of Arkansas. I don't think it's just limited to Little Rock, but the whole state of Arkansas, uh, Tennessee, and uh, that's my, my, and Atlanta, Georgia as well. That's my, my film family people. That's oh. awesome. Okay. Well, if you had fun with me, just, just pass the word about my show. We'll get, you know, Absolutely. get more people up here. We can, just so you know, I actually had a woman from Houston come up to actually, she traveled all the way from Houston to do my show a few years ago. Okay. In person. Yes. In person. Some, right. other people travel thousands of miles. I much prefer the in-person interview, but we got zoom now. We can handle that. Yep. Kelly, right, you did a great job. So you're ready to wrap the show up the way we began it with my stuff. Yeah. One absolutely. more favor. I'm going to ask once, when we finish, will you hit, will you stick around and do pictures for Facebook? Sure. All right. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Topic Time. Another beautiful episode in history. We'll make more next time. Have a good one. See you. Bye-bye.